And welcome back, everybody, once again to Mystic World's Safe Haven, a map by Damara. I am TJ the Obscure here with you here at my new base. Yes, that is correct, everybody. I had to start the map over again. Uh, the last episode that I released, you saw me dying there at the very end and went back to recover my things, and I recovered everything, like literally everything but the two or three wool that I had on me at the time, so I ended up having to start the map over again. So I've gone back through and uh, gathered all of the ob the objectives that we had gathered up until this point, and I simply have them stored in the chest here, uh, including a couple of villagers, one that we didn't find before. Uh, I've moved to the map much quicker, didn't bother building a grinder or really setting up much of a base at all. I did make a farm at one point, but I haven't really had to use it because I've been subsisting on the loot that I've found. This is the gear that I'm working with. I haven't taken time to do any special, uh, special enchants. In fact, that gear took me a while to get, and I still don't have the best sword. I kept getting a bunch of, like, smite swords and bane of arthropod swords and... Uh, blast protection and projectile protection and fire protection and all the things that we do not want. Um, uh, but yeah, things have just not been going well for me in this map. Just just one mistake after another, and uh, I uh, like I said I I restarted the map and everything, and I recorded an episode, and then when I went back to to edit the footage. Uh, it turned out that I my, my mic was not on, so <laughs> it's just like it's just the just never ending, never ending. This map is cursed, I say. I'm getting some weird stuttering here, which is not good. Hopefully, it's just my computer warming up. Um, so yeah, there. Yeah, I, I was gonna uh, go back to a backup that I had made, but honestly, the episode that I recorded didn't really miss much. I went back to the area that I died in and replayed it, and I figured out where the button is for the hourglass, and I pushed it, and it really wasn't all that exciting. Uh, it's just the sand filled up, and then it created a pathway to the wool, which you don't even need to do, because you can just tower up and access the wool without having to press the stupid button. And after that, I, uh, I came up here to this mountain. Um, and I'll show you guys what I did. It really wasn't all that exciting. The area was, was not challenging at all. I did find that pirate's buried treasure over there. The treasure was just like a couple pieces of gold, so it really wasn't even worth it. And uh, I think that was a research note of some kind. Um, but yes, this is, this right here is where, um, I got, I forget which wool I got. This is the mountain core. I, I'm getting really bad stuttering for some reason. I'm almost out of room on my hard drive, so I imagine that it may have something to do with that. Don't have feather falling on these boots. Um, so we need to be very, very careful. But yeah, vertical area, and uh, then it, oh, it has this window out to this area. And basically there was a book here saying that you're not supposed to access this area through the glass, that there's another entrance to it. Uh, I forget where that entrance is. You can see that it is a void area. And we could easily just break the glass and enter pearl over there, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, instead, I'm going to head into the nether this episode. There was also a villager in this area. Uh, where was he? He was up at the top near one of these fire things. Um, but yeah, I'm getting really frustrated with this map now. And on top of all of that, my internet has been down now for like three or four days, which is why you haven't seen any videos from me. I'm continuing to record stuff so that I have stuff to put out whenever my internet uh, comes back. The villager was right through there. 
but yeah, it's just been it's just been a rough rough week or so for me, both both in Minecraft and in real life. And it's like it's finals, and I have so much work to do, and I can't do the work without the internet. Uh, I thought about setting up a mobile hotspot, <laughs> not not to not to upload videos. That would be crazy. I remember when Etho did that a long long time ago when his internet went out. Um, but just so I can get on and send my students their feedback and everything. But, uh, yes, I went up to the nether portal, which is pretty much right above us. And, uh, let's see, there was like, just to make things easier, hopefully we don't die here. Okay, good shot. Good shot, Dissa. Uh, there was a research note over there. There was a research note uh, down here. And then I went into the nether, and that's pretty much how I ended the uh, episode where my mic was not working. But we're going to head here this episode and see how much of the nether that we can beat. Um, we got that one research note. There were gas spawners in here and, and stuff, but it really wasn't all that, all that exciting or anything. There's a rail, a rail cart down there that leads us to two different areas, and then we have Cloud Canyon. And we got a research note a while back that told us there's a villager here in Cloud Canyon. So we need to keep an eye out for that. Okay, looks like we're dealing with Void. I kind of remember it saying that he's near the near the uh, the entrance here, um, but yeah, this is this is interesting with the snow and the void and whatnot. What does it say? Welcome to Cloud Canyon, world of the dark skies. Very nice. I got a notch apple. Um, we have pigmen, but of course they are not aggro. And chest letter number one. You don't know who I am, but that is not important, nor will it ever be. I'm dead, along with everyone else who lived in this place. Those clouds in the overworld came from this place. Once they went through the portal, there was no way of bringing them back. One last piece of the monument room has been hidden in our remains of our city, though, but it'll take some patience to find. Take the directions I give you, and you shall find what you are looking for. First, make your way down the ladder just outside of this house. Your next clue will be left there for you, hero. Okay, we don't need that. In fact, I'm going to put ender pearls right there. Uh, and then fire resistance here. Ladder. He says that there is a ladder. Uh, I'm guessing that this is the ladder. I see ghast. That, I'm thinking, might be the, uh... Oh, you know what? Um... Where did that... Skelly come from? I don't think the spawners in this area are gonna be primed. Because, uh... Oh no, here's the villager, okay. Lucas. Lucas, you are our friend, Lucas. And very nice. That may have just been a natural spawn. Did Wither Skelly spawn naturally? Or maybe this is... I, I don't know what's going on. Or where that guy came from. Yeah, no, he must be spawning from somewhere. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't think spawners are going to be primed in here. Simply because I did not run the MC Edit filter in the nether. Uh, it might look like a monument chest down in that small coliseum, but it is a lie. Valuable treasure does rest down there, though, but leave that for now. Make your way across this path and find the next chest within the broken cloud. Um, okay. Sounds like there's a ghast below us, most likely. But that's unfortunate about the spawners. Uh, it's probably going to make things really easy. I guess I could go into MC Edit and do that. Actually, I, I'm not even entirely sure how to edit things in MC Edit in the Nether. I guess if I were to set the player's spawn in the Nether, then 
Or do you have to open up the, the just the nether world file? I don't really know. Uh, okay, interesting. Watch out for those snow traps. Torches we will take. And what are you? A tunnel. I'm not sure if this is where we want to be going or not. Uh, is this where he told me not to go? I have no idea. I'm just exploring at this point. More of the health potions. Let's just go ahead and consolidate these guys. Uh, that's a lot of health potions, man. <laughs> If, if I lose those, I'm not going to have any other health potions. Which should be interesting. Okay, it looks like that may be the path that we want to go. Although there's also this ladder over here. Which takes us way up. For now, let's head in here. Is this just lighting or is this another chest? Looks like it's probably just lighting. Alright, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and head in this direction if we can and fall right into the freaking lava guy really really okay maybe this is the fake wool that it was talking about the decoy wool I'm worried something's gonna fall on my head oh place the block guy place the block uh, this monument chest has been pillaged. Find the backup monument chest. Can do, can do. Um, it almost looks like we're supposed to go down right here. There's a chest. We will take the golden apples, that is for sure. Uh, yeah, so... We are probably about a third of the way done with this map. It feels, with how many objectives that I've gotten, that we should be much farther along. I mean, we have like a whole double chest full of full of, of, of objectives and whatnot, but we've only found three of the ten pirates or whatever, three of the twelve pirates. I forget how many there are now. And we've only maybe found like seven or eight pieces of wool, I think. Six or seven pieces. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yeah, this is going to be so boring. <laughs> oh, well, I, I may end up editing some of this out. And maybe maybe I'll see if I can do the other parts of the nether uh, in MC Edit, and we'll save those for later. Plus, it feels like this is maybe where I'm supposed to come to last, since this is the origin of the, of the clouds and whatnot. Not sure... couple of different options here. Let's head in this direction first, though. Sneaky creeper spawner. Okay, interestingly, the skelly spawners, or at least some of the skelly spawners, do seem to be primed. Not sure why that is. keeps sounding like uh, like these pigmen are coming after me. Alright, your fourth and final clue to find the monument piece. See that house way in the distance? Maybe you've been there uh, if you didn't follow my instructions, but you probably missed the monument chest. Yeah, that's right. It's in the top of the house. Here are some ladders to make it up there. Next to the fireplace is the perfect place to use them. The ladders used to be there, but I removed them when I knew I was going to pass away. Alright. Uh, sure, we'll take your ladders, guy. Is there something here? Or is this just... Just nothingness? Uh... That is the house he's talking about, I think. Let's just leave that ghast alone for now. Uh, 
and go across the glass bridge. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Didn't he say something about treasures? Where are these treasures at? Ooh. Um, yes, please. I don't think we need the letters anymore. So we'll go ahead and take that guy. Very nice. I've had to try to keep my arrow supply up since we don't have infinity at this point. Okay, I'm not really sure where we're supposed to go from here. Whether we're supposed to start at the house or what? Because right, there's a lot more to this area. Destroy. Yeah, why are only the skeleton spawners prime? That's, that's so odd. Fast travel. I feel like we maybe took the wrong path, but whatever. There isn't really a clear path here to begin with. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Um, okay, well. I think we have exposed the... Uh, Expose the monument, which is pretty sticking hilarious. Chest with more health potions. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have almost a full stack of potions. We should be invincible at this point, although you know, I didn't really manage to, uh, to use them very well when we got into trouble last time. Uh, gosh dang it. I chose the wrong, the wrong way, you guys. Uh, let's go do that. And Ender Pearl's back on the bar. Forgotten piece. I thought we were... Okay, when I said there was only one monument piece in this place left, I actually forgot about another that rests very close to the Bedrock Tower. Enter the mossy ruins inside the hollow cloud and retrieve the second monument piece in this area. Wait, what? Didn't didn't the one over there tell me to come here? It's getting kind of confusing there, guy. And the house is burning down. Okay, well, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna I'm gonna just do some island hopping, some exploration to see what we can't find. Hop it down here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, lots of diamond. And this guy does have fortune. Go ahead and grab all of these pieces. And here we have an enchanting table. Ooh. Stacked regen. And stacked strength, although I already have some of those. Uh, yes, we want those, all right. A second enchanting table, not sure why we would need that at this point, especially with how plentiful diamonds are on the map. Oh, yummy, yummy steak, yummy, yummy steak, and a replacement axe, lovely. Uh, and it looks like that's probably going to be a monument piece, if I had to guess. Let's just bridge over here. Ooh, that was scary. Very, very scary. Oh no, okay, this is the gear that he was talking about. It's not even that good a gear though. Hey, where did you come from, guy? 
there must be must be blaze spawners around here somewhere. But I'm not seeing them. Okay, I see something way down there. Oh, this area is frustrating me, you guys. I don't know how many monument pieces there are. The uh, the clues don't seem to make a lot of sense. The spawners aren't working, so there's no real danger. Oh, yes, please. Definitely want those. And the steak. Well, does this one tell us anything new? Yes, this is quite tedious, but it is definitely worth it. I have to make sure that you are capable of completing this quest before I reveal the location of the monument chest. Make your way along that same path, but take the other path down towards the lower cloud. Go inside and take a right. This will lead you up the tower. That is the next... Okay. Yeah, that doesn't really tell us anything helpful. Um, let's go ahead and do that. And take the backup pearls. Perhaps it is up here, whatever it is that we're looking for. Since there is a path. And is this it? Sponge. But is this the only one that's here? Or is there... Is there another monument piece in this area? Kind of hard, hard to tell. Oh, but regardless, uh, let's just let's just move on and let's go. I, I don't know where we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go out back into the overworld, into the uh, forest. Hey, finally got some feather fallen. Go ahead and put those guys on. And yeah, I think I'm gonna head into the forest. Uh, since that seems like a place we probably should have gone early on. It just looks so scary, you guys. So very terrifying. And there's a house, like right over here that I want to check out. Like a little cabin in the woods. Which, isn't that the name of a horror film? Cabin in the Woods? Oh my gosh, and it's so, so dense that it's hard to actually make your way through it. I thought that it might be a good uh, shortcut when I was going to the pyramids and whatnot, but <laughs> I quickly figured out that that was not the case. Alright, Mr. Skeleton, I really should try to kill you, I think. Otherwise, you're going to get on my nerves. Oh, hey, what is this? What is this? Secrets. We have found all of the secrets. Um, interesting ladders to get us back up and switches, all the switches. Uh, oh, are you serious? Nope, nope. I don't think so. These four levers each control a series of pistons. Turn them on and off to push the sand and lapis lazuli blocks. Your goal is to get the top right sand block to fall down the glass tube. This is easier with two people, but still possible with single player. Once the sand block falls down the glass tube, return to where you fell from. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know if I really want to sit here and try to figure this out right now. Or if this is something I want to come back to. <clears throat> whoa, whoa. Uh, be careful. Keep these safe. They are the only pieces left. Did I do it? Oh, hey, apparently I did it. 
I I've I've just been sitting here pushing buttons. So I don't know how I did. I I didn't even know I did it. But okay, whatever. We'll uh we'll take it. Uh, that was I was about to just give up right now, so I turned around and and what do you know? We uh actually I want these ladders, so I'm gonna hold on to them. All right, let's continue continue exploring the uh, the forest. All right, who's who's gonna attack? I heard all you guys coming for me. I know I saw a house over here somewhere. Where are you at, Mr. House? Uh, nope, we have reached the other side. I guess maybe if we travel on top of the forest, it should make things easier. Okay, there I think is the house that I saw. Right next to the entrance to this place, to the giant tower. And boom, light it up. And okay, that's just in and out, in and out, in and out. Uh, sharpness 2, knockback 2, we will take it, along with the coal and the pocket chop. Um, okay. Well, I don't think we need anything else there. Let's get away from those gas spawners. There is another, like, little temple looking thing over here and I kind of wonder if it is the forest temple that has been alluded to in many of the uh, the books that we've read or there's supposedly a villager or something and destroy destroy kind of think these might be nope that's just glowstone all right and another path down, and of course I am running around with all the objectives on me, which is something that I like to do, uh, and then I like to lose them all. And then I like to start the map over, all over again. That's how it should be played, gosh dang it. Um, okay. Is this supposed to signify something? Not entirely sure what these are supposed to be. And this is a well, I believe. And boom, big explosion. All the explosions. I almost fired at the, the spawner again. Gosh dang it, will you go away, people? How have I not killed you yet? Alright, you go away, you go away, you go away. You go away. Everybody go away. So I can come over here and destroy Mr. Gas Spawner. Uh, doorway. What are these bedrock columns supposed to be? I do wonder. Uh, just the coal and the diamond. Just the coal and the diamond. Everybody, go. Put myself out. Go ahead and block it off. It's going down, down, down. Staircase is going down. More of those, which we do want. Chicken can stay there, though. And let's refresh the torches before we head back up. Go! Uh, I don't really need to destroy you, but I will anyways. I feel like these things of water are supposed to signify something. A ladder? Man, I, this episode has just made me so confused, you guys. There's just so many things going on that I don't understand. And that seemed really odd to me. 
hint. Okay, well that might help, although in the past your hints have been confusing. Enter the maze beneath the well to find your way. This is in case you are lost in this temple. <laughs> what? So you enter the maze if you're lost, or you enter the maze to get lost. I, yeah, I don't know. Not really sure what's going on there. Um, well, let's get up here and take out the spawner. And you. And you. Ooh, a big explosion. Oh, that's why. The water bucket is not needed. And a one and a two. Uh, yeah, you guys, this is so, so confusing. Oh, there's a ladder? There's a ladder that I missed, apparently. Oh, gosh. But, okay, here we are. Here we are. And put ourselves out. Okay. Staircase back to the top. Oh, I was hoping one of you guys would destroy the spawner, but that was... It's not, not, not gonna happen, was it? Oh gosh, I got totally turned around there. And somehow I avoided getting poisoned. Alright, just let me destroy one, two, three. And. Alright. Oh. Kill, kill, kill. I wasn't even on fire, so I don't know what I was doing there. I'm guessing there must be another blaze spawner around here somewhere. No? I guess not. A ladder right there with a sign. Escape route. Okay, well, I'm guessing we probably want to grab the objective first. Magenta wool has been gotten. And let's go ahead and take the escape route. And next episode, I think that uh, we will probably... Oh, it's just a little path above everything. Next episode, we will probably head into the cloud area. And then, uh, after that, you know, assuming that I get things worked out with the nether, we'll head back to the nether. And my phone is going off, which means it is time for me to stop, I think. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.